What's good, YouTubers and YouTubettes? This is JB Sports. Back again with another one. It is time for the Mike McCarthy Dak Prescott marriage to come to a divorce. It's time. One of them must go. This marriage has ran its course and it's time for Jerry Jones to make a decision and pull the plug on this marriage. Now, Dak Prescott recently just signed a, a multi-season deal which will pay him over $40 million per season. So it's going to be kind of hard to, to get rid of him. You can't cut him. Number one, because he is a solid quarterback. He's not an upper echelon quarterback, but he's a solid quarterback. He's probably a top 10 to 12 quarterback in the NFL. So uh, you can't just get rid of them and bring in Jimmy Garoppolo because you're going backwards, not forwards. Because Jimmy Garoppolo is not as good as Dak Prescott. Now maybe you can do a trade with the Las Vegas Raiders, a one-for-one. One. You trade... Dak Prescott for Derek Carr, but you're pretty much in the same boat swimming up river. You're swimming up shit creek without a paddle. You're in the same, same situation with Derek Carr because Derek Carr is in the same same category as uh, Dak Prescott. I probably put Dak probably slightly ahead of him because Dak can uh, run better than uh, Derek Carr. Derek Carr seems to be to be a, probably be a little bit more clutch for the most part than uh, Dak Prescott, but it's not nothing that's a uh, big difference between those two guys, so I don't think they'll make that move. So a long story being short and a short story being long, Dallas Cowboys are stuck with Dak Prescott. So that, now we look at the head coaching spot, Mike McCarthy, who has one Super Bowl ring when he was with the Green Bay Packers, and the Green Bay Packers went on that run where they won three games on the road in route to a Super Bowl victory over the Pittsburgh Steelers at AT&T Stadium, home of the Dallas Cowboys. But all that being said, Jerry Jones needs to pick up that phone and not call Tyrone, but call Sean, last name Peyton, who won Super Bowl with the New Orleans Saints, turned around a downtrodden organization, him and Drew Brees, when they linked up, and that was a great marriage enjoyed success at a high level which ultimately led to them bringing the city of New Orleans their first Super Bowl trophy. So we will see what happens and we will see what transpires. That's the move to make. You got to change this marriage up. That the marriage of Mike McCarthy and Dak Prescott has ran its course. You can't get rid of Dak due to the fact that he's a solid quarterback and you ain't got nothing on the horizon that's better than him. And, and also due to the fact that the money he's making, he's making over 40 million per season. So you can't just uh, cut him and, and take that big cap here. That'll pretty much paralyze your other moves that you can make, potentially make on your roster. So we will see what happens. And we will see what transpires. It should be a new marriage between Sean Payton and Dak Prescott. Sean Payton will get the maximum ability out of Dak Prescott. He would design an offense that would play to Dak Prescott's strengths. Look what he did with Taysom Hill, who couldn't throw to save his own life. A horrible throw, inaccurate on the highest level, of the highest order. And he made him look decent. They won games with him playing quarterback. And if he can do that with Taysom Hill, just imagine what he could do with a, a guy that can actually throw the ball from the pocket, can make plays from the pocket, that being Dak Prescott. So we will see what happens. And we will see what transpires. Very, very interesting uh, game this past Sunday. Dak Prescott did what he's been doing throughout this season, turning the ball over at alarming rates. Led the NFL to interception. That's a damn shame to consider the fact that he only played 12 games of the 17-game NFL season. So the other quarterbacks in the NFL had a five-game cushion on him for lack of a better word. And he still produced more interception than any other quarterback in the NFL. Ever since he came into the league, when he had a great rookie year, which I think he only threw like four interceptions the whole season. Each year, the interceptions have gone up 
and that's a bad, bad trend for America's team. So we will see what happens, and we will see what transpires. But it's time to move on from Mike McCarthy. Mike McCarthy is not a bad coach. He's not a great coach. He's a middle-of-the-road coach that's coaching a middle-of-the-road quarterback in Dak Prescott. It's time for you to change one of those two positions. You got to get elite at one of those two positions. You can't get elite at quarterback due to the what I just laid out earlier in this video. But you can get better at head coach, and they need to make that move and call Sean Payton, who has a history with owner Jerry Jones, and bring him in and let him be the captain of the ship and hopefully lead the Cowboys back to the promised land. So we will see what happens. And we will see what transpires. Now, you got a lot of naysayers out here saying, well, they bring in Sean Payton. He got one Super Bowl ring, the same as the coach they got right now. And Mike McCarthy got one Super Bowl ring. You ain't upgrading in that either. Oh, no, you upgrading in that because you look at the win-loss record of Sean Payton. You look at the offenses that he designed. They're more dynamic than the offense that Mike McCarthy has been in charge of. You know, you, 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 know, you, you tend to say, well, he ran a decent offense at Green Bay, but Aaron Rodgers made that offense elite. But when you look at the New Orleans Saints, he seems to be running an elite offense that made an above-average quarterback in Drew Brees perform at a high, Hall of Fame level. And I think that's the difference between those two coaches, in my humble opinion. So we will see what happens. And we will see what transpires. Follow me on Facebook, Gerard.Briscoe.3551. Like, share, and subscribe to JB Sports. The man, the myth, the legend. And I holler.